Praise the Lord, everybody. Happy Friday. Amen. Today is Friday, and on Fridays during the 70 Days Prayer and Fasting Program, we do have prayers for the nation. The Bible does exhort us to pray for the nation. When there is sin in a nation, God can bring judgment from within or without. One of the judgments can be bad governments or allowing a nation to be conquered by an adversary. We have seen multiple scenarios of this in the Bible. For example, in 2 Kings 18 verses 9 to 12, we see that the king of Assyria took Israel captive. Verse 12 reads, Because they obeyed not the voice of the Lord their God, but transgressed his covenant and all that Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded them and would not hear them nor do them. Amen. So judgment was brought upon Israel for disobeying God's commandment. Amen. So we as Christians need to pray for the grace, for the mercy of God over our nations. Second Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14 says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Amen. Amen. The scripture readings for prayers for the nation are, the first one is from 1 Timothy chapter 2 verses 1 to 2. I exhort, therefore, that first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings, and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. Amen. The second scripture is from Jeremiah 1 verse 10. See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I confess all the sins and iniquities of the land, of our ancestors, of our leaders, of the people. For example, violence, rejection of God, corruption, idolatry, robbery, suspicion, injustice, bitterness, bloody riots, pogroms, rebellion, conspiracy, shedding of innocent blood, tribal conflicts, child kidnapping, murder, occultism, mismanagement, negligence, and those are just a few that are written in the 70 Days Prayer and Fasting Program. There are others that you may know of based on where you live and what your general knowledge of that area or other areas are. So go ahead and confess those sins. Sins of embezzlement that are taking place in the area where you live. Sins of abortion. All kinds of other sin and iniquity. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I plead for mercy and forgiveness in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, remember our land and redeem it in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, save our land from destruction and judgment. Oh Lord, let your healing power begin to operate upon our land in Jesus' name. All forces of darkness hindering the move of God in this nation be rendered impotent in the name of Jesus. I command the spiritual strong man in charge of this country to be bound and be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Every evil establishment and satanic tree in this country be uprooted and be cast into fire in the name of Jesus. I come against every spirit of the Antichrist working against this nation, and I command it to be permanently frustrated in the name of Jesus. I command the stones of fire 
from God to fall upon every national satanic operation and activity in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, let the desires, plans, devices, and expectations of the enemy for this country be completely frustrated in Jesus' name. Every satanic curse on this nation fall to the ground and die in Jesus' name. By the blood of Jesus, let all sins, ungodliness, idolatry, and vices cease in the land in the name of Jesus. I break every evil covenant and dedication made upon our land in Jesus' name. I plead the blood of Jesus over the nation in Jesus' name. I decree the will of God for this land, whether the devil likes it or not, in the name of Jesus. All contrary powers and authorities in this land be confounded and be put to shame in Jesus' name. I close every satanic gate in every city in this country in Jesus' name. Every evil throne in this country be dashed to pieces in Jesus' name. I bind all negative forces operating in the lives of the leaders of this country in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, lay your hands of fire and power upon all our leaders in the name of Jesus. I bind every blood-drinking demon in this country in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, let the Prince of Peace reign in every department of this nation in the name of Jesus. Every anti-gospel spirit be frustrated and be rendered impotent in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, give us leaders who will see their calls, who will see their roles as a calling instead of an opportunity to amass wealth in the name of Jesus. All forms of ungodliness be destroyed by the divine fire of burning in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, let our leaders be filled with divine understanding and wisdom in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, let our leaders follow the counsel of God and not of man and demons in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, let our leaders have wisdom and knowledge of God in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, let our government be the kind that would obtain your direction and leading in the name of Jesus. Every satanic altar in this country receive the fire of God and burn to ashes in the name of Jesus. I silence every satanic prophet, priest, and practitioner in the mighty name of Jesus, and I forbid them from interfering with the affairs of this nation in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, cleanse our land from every blood pollution in the name of Jesus. I command the fire of God on all idols, sacrifices, rituals, shrines, and local satanic thrones in this country in the name of Jesus. I break any conscious and unconscious agreement made between the people of this country and Satan in Jesus' name. I dedicate and claim all our cities for Jesus in Jesus' name. Father, let the blessings and presence of the Lord be experienced in our cities in the name of Jesus. I decree total paralysis on lawlessness, immorality, and drug addiction in this country in the name of Jesus. Father, let the power, love, and glory of God be established in our land in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, let there be a thirst and hunger for God in the hearts of Christians of this nation in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, deposit the spirit of revival in our land in Jesus' name. 
Oh Lord, lay your hands of power and might upon the armed forces, the police, all government establishments and institutions, and all universities and colleges in this country in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, let the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ fall upon our economy in the name of Jesus. Father, let there be fruitfulness and prosperity in every area of this country in the name of Jesus. I command every threat to the political, economic, and social stability in the land to be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. I frustrate every satanic external influence over our nation in the name of Jesus. I command confusion and disagreement among the sons of the bondwoman planning to cage the nation in Jesus' name. I break any covenant between any satanic external influence and our leaders in Jesus' name. I paralyze every spirit of wastage of economic resources in this country in the name of Jesus. Spirit of borrowing, depart completely from this country in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, show yourself mighty in the affairs of this nation in Jesus' name. Father, let the kingdom of Christ come into this nation in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, do new things in our country to show your power and greatness to the heathen in Jesus' name. Father, let the kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ come into the heart of every person in this country in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, have mercy upon this nation in the name of Jesus. All the glory of this nation that has departed, be restored, be restored, be restored in the name of Jesus. Father, let all unevangelized areas of this country be reached with the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, send forth laborers into your vineyard to reach the unreached in this country in the name of Jesus. I dismantle the stronghold of poverty in this nation in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, install your agenda for this nation in Jesus' name. Every power of darkness operating in our educational institutions be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Satanic representatives of key posts in this country be dismantled by fire in Jesus' name. Every evil spirit, every evil spiritual throne behind all physical thrones in this land be dismantled in the name of Jesus. Every satanic covenant made on behalf of this country by anyone be nullified, be nullified, be nullified by the blood of Jesus in Jesus' name. I trample upon the serpents and scorpions of ethnic clashes in this country in the name of Jesus. I realign, I decree a realignment of the situation around Christians to favor Christians in this country in the name of Jesus. I dethrone every strange king installed in the spirit realm over this country in the name of Jesus. All principalities, powers, rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness in heavenly places militating against this nation be bound and be disgraced in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, let righteousness reign in every part of this country in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Righteousness will reign in every part of our nations in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. God bless us. Have a blessed weekend in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus.